Today is a red letter day for all of us. Come here, later. Uh, Attire in. Party staff commendation card in the year 2003 in Kanchan Junga Masses. He's a keen sport. Ladies and gentlemen. General S. -S I am Lieutenant Rekha Singh and after uh, my husband I decided to join Indian Army. Earlier I was TGT Maths teacher but later on I thought to experience all the things which my husband had gone through. So I decided to join Indian Army and I started preparing for that and today my training has completed and now I become lieutenant. And today is a very proud moment for me and for my family. And for women cadets, I just want to say that believe in yourself and whatever you want to do, just do. Don't think what others are thinking, otherwise you won't be able to do anything. So believe in yourself and start doing. Take your first step, then only you will be able to achieve your goal. Definitely, it is a very good step taken by the government that they have allowed the women cadets to join artillery. So, it is a we are lucky that in our this batch this has started. So, it is a very good opportunity for lady officers, and definitely, we are doing in every field very good. So, definitely, in this field also, we will do good, and my course mates they will perform very well and make their nation proud. Uh, it's it's a very proud moment for me to be inducted uh, into the artillery and uh, being one of the first, the five women officers to be inducted into the artillery for the first time in the history is a very big thing and uh, I'm pretty sure that all of us uh, will do justice to our roles and uh, we'll exploit our potential and uh, we'll uh, give our best to the uh, arm and to the organization. Are you an MCC background? Yes. And this is the first person in the family? No, I'm the second generation. My father is also in the army. So I'm the second generation army officer. And uh, I'm proud to uh, continue his legacy forward and uh, let this be a growth for women empowerment to you know, take the women empowerment forward for the future, my juniors, who will be joining me soon into the artillery. I think the decision is fantastic because it has been taken. The, the decision has been taken, keeping in mind that women are no less than men, and that even we can, uh, you know, do the same amount of work, the same amount of physical training, mental training, just as men. So I think uh, it's a very proud moment for the entire country, for all of us to be standing here. And uh, I wish all the very best to my juniors, women officers, who will be soon joining us uh, in the future. I think uh, all five of us have broken that with uh, you know us getting inducted into the artillery. We have broken the stereotype that we are no less than men, and what they can do, we can do very well, and even far better than that. So. I had aimed for this uh, from the very, when I was in college, I had aimed to join the army and uh, I'm very proud and very happy today, elated that uh, I got my two stars on my shoulders and uh, yeah, it's a very great moment for me and my parents who have always supported me and they've always been throughout in my journey. My brother has always supported me. So I think it starts from the families. You break that mindset, you break the stereotype. You, uh, you know, for that women empowerment, you send your sisters, wives, women forward to let them take that step and break those uh, barriers. Sir, uh, this academy is one of the premier institutes all over the world. 
and we train in Chennai. It's one of the toughest weathers, so we become the toughest officers. And it's an 11th month training, and it's an integrated training for both males and females. So that's an additional advantage. And uh, I have had the proud privilege of representing the RT and joining the regiment of RT. We are the lucky five. I hope we keep up, keep up your name. Join the armed forces in combat role. Combat role. So that's why um, we joined the artillery. And a message for all the other women officers out there would be that uh, um, to join the army, it is a great organization. It gives you an opportunity to explore yourself and it will definitely help us all in improving ourselves and finding the better version of ourselves. Jai Hind. Armed, armed Forces is an organization which gives you equal treatment in all the combat role or services role. Therefore, I feel that that stereotype does not exist. Uh, we're treated here and trained here at par with the other gentlemen cadets. So that stereotype, I feel, is not there. I'd like to take your leave. Thank you. So I would like to start off by telling about what made me join the Indian Armed Forces. So I'm a second generation officer. My father serves in the Indian Navy. He himself is a gunner. So the opening up of the branch of artillery made me naturally attracted towards this because I was always looking up to my father and I idolized him. And joining gunnery uh, in, uh, in the form of artillery in the armed forces was a natural choice. Apart from that, I am from commerce background. So the other three uh, specifications that I was allotted with, which was intelligence, army service score, and army ordinance score. All of these three are not regiments. The regiment of artillery has regimentization, which means it has units where officers are posted permanently. So there is a certain kind of brotherhood and camaraderie that these regiments have. They have their own history and they have their own past which unite them. And there's a certain kind of brotherhood and camaraderie, camaraderie that comes to them. So this is also something that I want to look forward to. So that is uh, why... Uh, why I joined the artillery. Our training is integrated here, which means we run in the same camps, the same kind of physical activities, the same kind of training schedule, and be it rigorous or whatever, we are doing everything with them. Uh, not only are we matching their physical standards, but also in terms of competence, it is all uniform. So, uh, as of now, there is nothing as a woman officer or a male officer. We are all officers of the Indian Armed Forces. So, and at the end, I would like to just say that all these women or small girls who are motivated to join the Armed Forces, this is the best choice. You have to have no doubts, no kind of peer pressure. If you want to do it, do it. Study hard, work hard, be sincere in your service. And I think this is the best way to serve the nation. So, thank you. Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dumapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter. And Kohima and Mokokchong viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter.